This is Twit. But talking about Android 13, specifically uh, another operating system that's based on Android 13, Lineage OS, uh, which was the successor to CyanogenMod, if you remember, longtime viewer of CyanogenMod. Oh, Let's, yep. let's, not, let's not forget. Um, forget. So Lineage OS has hit version 20, um, and it's currently based on Android 13 QPR, QPR1. Uh, and Adam, actually, you got all the details uh, about the features of this version. So what are some of the st standouts of the latest version of Lineage? I feel like we don't talk about Lineage enough on this show, Jason. So I'm curious to hear yeah. what Adam has to say. So there's a lot of like, so uh, first of all, it's obviously been updated to Android 13. So you get um, mm. pretty much all the Android 13 based improvements. Uh, but you also get updates to uh, the Lineage OS uh, applications. So I system updater Jelly, which is the browser, the gallery, etc. And one of the biggest updates actually to come out of this release is the new camera application, which is called Aperture. And it replaces the default camera app that was present in Lineage OS, which was originally basically just the AOSP camera. And it was very limiting. It didn't have a lot of features. Uh, often on some devices, as far as I remember, it didn't have proper auxiliary camera support, etc. And it would just be kind of difficult to work with. And a lot of users then at the end would just install Google Camera because like the, the stock camera app wasn't very good. And the... Lineage OS developers have essentially come out with Aperture, which has a ton of features, including support for auxiliary cameras. Uh, the maintainers have to add that support. Uh, there's video frame rate controls, there's full control of both EIS and OIS, and there's a leveler as well for checking the device orientation. So you, you know you can turn your phone and it'll show you like if you're level or whatever. So that is a major improvement in Lineage OS. And as I mentioned as well, you get all of the Android 13 based features and improvements to the other apps. So it's just a way in general for people who may have devices who may not be supported as much anymore or who just want more control over their device to install Lineage, uh, to install Android 13 and get the additional features of Lineage OS as well. And in the case of older devices, get an update they wouldn't have gotten otherwise. We have talked many times on this show over the years about the root and the ROM community. It used to be years ago a, a very big feature on the show because, well, I know for myself, you were one of myself, them. I was one of them. I was doing it all the time, and then, um, and then you know, I started to slow down on the the rooting and the ROMing, and then you know, and slowly over time, you know, the phones just kind of had the features that I needed. Either that, or I lost it lost steam because it really takes a lot of effort and energy to continue doing that at the the pace that I was anyway. Ways. It sounds like an addiction, actually, now that I'm talking about it. Um, <laughs> maybe it is to a certain degree. But um, what's your take, Adam? I'm curious from the XDA perspective on things like lineage. Like, obviously, this is still happening. But I don't know. My view is that things have really slowed down here. Like, are, are there XDA writers that that prefer to have the rooted, you know, the lineage OS running on their devices as opposed to stock? And if so, what what are the reasons that keep them there? So it, it, it's hard to say kind of how, I, I think the custom ROM community, et cetera, and people who make use of these custom ROMs is a different type of person now versus who would have back then. So for yeah. example, when I, one of my, one of my earliest memories of the XDA forums was actually when I was like 13 or something. And I was trying to install Minecraft on a HTC Desire C, which hadn't gotten the necessary Android updates to play Minecraft. And I was like, okay, how do I play Minecraft on this thing? How do I get Android? I think it was 4.4.2 on this device. So I went and I found XDA and I installed it and I was able to play Minecraft on my phone. Uh, I was so cool. And at that point, that is that was the utility of it for me was being able to get a game on my phone that for my phone that had never received an update basically. Whereas now, kind of, you get apps that are it's a better ecosystem all around for both apps and features across devices. People generally get at least some semblance of updates now on devices, and if you go out there and buy any phone. Uh, so long as it's like running Android 11 or newer, you're pretty much going to be able to run every app on the App Store or on the Play Store rather for a couple of years. And you're not going to really run into those kind of issues anymore, whereas previously that was the case. And then mm -hmm. adding features to your phone, a lot of features now that were in custom ROMs that you couldn't get on devices are now just preloaded on your devices anyway. 
So yeah. it removes that appeal, coupled with the fact then that when you root and install a custom ROM or whatever, you are losing uh, Google Pay because you are no longer generally passing to Play Integrity API unless you go to a lot of work to get around that. Uh, it serves as a deterrent. So I think now people that want to use the likes of Lineage, OS, etc., are doing it for a different reason than just wanting features, wanting games, wanting more control over the device. It's to primarily, I feel like, get away from Google because most people now that I know that use Lineage OS are trying to get away from Google on their devices. And I think that is the big appeal. There is a, definitely a place for custom ROMs, but I think for a lot of people, it's a lot of hassle that isn't worth it to them for better or for worse, which is a shame because there's a lot of amazingly talented developers who do incredible work and stuff like this new camera app, which is brilliant and amazing. Uh, there are fewer and fewer developers who have the interest to want to do this because there aren't as many people interested in using it, which I think isn't great. I think that overall people have kind of become happier with their devices in general, which is a good thing but it does lead to kind of a reduced interest overall in custom ROMs. Yeah. Does Do any phones actually come with Lineage on on board, like out of the gate, right? Like, there's, there's only the, e, the, the EOS, the Marina one, it comes with a, yeah. it comes with a fork of uh, Lineage OS, which is EOS. Um, I think that's the only device I know of that really comes with anything that's lineage based. There's also right. the you... FX Tech Pro, um, which come, which I believe allows you to choose Lineage OS as an option. But I don't. Yes. I, I it's 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 a. Uh, yeah, I, I believe there's. A, I believe that you can choose to sh include Lineage OS by default. Yeah. And uh, I believe they also do ship, you know, regular Android builds as another option. Um, I think that's the only device that supports multiple options in that sense. Right. Yeah. Right. Runs both Lineage OS and Ubuntu. Uh, that was the FX Tech Pro 1X, I think back in October 2020. I remember hearing about that. Yeah, interesting. It's it's this interesting to hear you, hear you delineate, uh, Adam, between the reasons for using, uh, for rooting and ROMing and flashing ROMs then versus now and I think what struck me as I heard you kind of kind of delineate the differences between the two is it's probably the same person type of person. It's just different reasons, right? Then it was the super technical person or the person who didn't mind becoming super technical because they wanted to ha get their phone to do things it couldn't do. Now it's the super technical or doesn't doesn't mind getting super technical because they know enough about technology that they want to protect themselves from what they perceive as a bad Google or, you know, don't want all their data being swallowed up by a single company or whatever. It's probably the same person. It's just different reasons. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think there's some merit to that for sure. Yeah. So uh, on on the Lineage's website, they actually, if you go to stats.lineageos.org, they publicly share the total number of active installs of the OS, and they're up to 3.6 million um, as of today. Um, wow. With the most yeah, being the, being in China, I guess is that CNN? yeah, and that doesn't CNN? even yeah yeah China. That also yeah. doesn't even account for all the forks of Lineage OS, of which there right, are many, right. including many. EOS, which is which is like a fork, yeah, which is based on off Lineage. That also you know ship that also use their work as a base, but may have stripped out their Lineage stats you know feature. Yeah. So according to according to their stats page, not including the forks, you've got just under four hundred thousand installs in the U.S. Hmm. Right. With yeah. six hundred ninety-eight thousand installs from a country called Unknown, which I've never heard of. But yeah, I've um, never been there. No, yeah, you've never been there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. But um, no. But it's. I mean, it's interesting to see that like one point one million in China. You know, four hundred thousand in the U.S. Via is VN Vietnam, right? Two hundred sixty thousand yeah, there. One hundred four thousand in India, right? Like that's you know, but it's, yeah. that's I mean, three point yeah, six is a good numbers. number, but it's but it's when you think about it, the number of Android devices out in the world, it, it, that is a drop in the bucket. That is not a oh, lot. Oh, for sure. That India number is probably way higher if you're looking at you yeah. know total yeah. number of custom ROM users, considering how prevalent um, you know 
the percentage of users from India is on XCA forums. There's just so many, you know, from from India in particular who are, you know, going on the forums to flash a custom ROM onto the device. And it may or may not be Lineage OS because there's so many different options available. And a lot of them use the work that are based that are, that the Lineage OS maintainer have done to support AOSP on their devices, even though they might not be using Lineage OS itself. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, and I am the host of Hands On Photography here on Twit TV. I know you got yourself a fancy smartphone, you got yourself a fancy camera, but your pictures are still lacking. Can't quite figure out what the heck shutter speed means? Watch my show. I got you covered. Want to know more about just the ISO and exposure triangle in general? Yeah, I got you covered. Or if you got all of that down, you want to get into lighting, you know, making things look better by changing the lights around you. I got you covered on that too. So check us out each and every Thursday here on the network. Go to twit.tv slash hop and subscribe today.